What's up, guys? I'm Random Frank P. It <coughs> Whew, sorry about that. Today we're back with an episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for December. The series we show off some of the best tech you can find under that price point right in time for the holidays now. Hopefully giving you some good gift ideas for yourself or somebody else. If you see anything you'd like, I'll have all of it listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. And also, shout out to last month's winners. I've been in contact with you so you can claim your tech. And if you want to win something from today, all you got to do is hit that thumbs up button down below and comment your favorite piece of tech and why you want it. Now, first up is the Tribit Stormbox Micro. And not only are these really good sounding Bluetooth speakers that are 100% waterproof and dustproof, but it has a few cool tricks up its sleeve that I think really separates it from the rest of the pack out there for the price. And first, just stating the obvious, you can buy it in either black or orange, as you see. Built into it is this super tough strap. So you can attach this to something like your handlebars, a backpack, and this will not budge. Obviously, you have built-in controls for volume and playback, a USB-C port for charging. You hear that, Logitech? But what I really like is if you have two of these, you can pair them together and set them to party mode so they both play music when connected to just one device. Or what I think is executed perfectly here is their stereo mode. Stereo mode. Left channel. Right channel. This means you can have one speaker be the left channel and the other be the right channel, so you get actual stereo audio coming from these little speakers. And let me tell you what, they do it right. The distinction between them is really good. Plus, they get pretty loud, so if you want, you can have these on like either side of you in your room. And it's like you have some desktop speakers, but they're just a little tiny storm box. All around, they just really impress me. I know speakers aren't like the most amusing thing to see, but these just sound really, really good for the price, and that stereo mode functionality is honestly what sold it for me. It seems like they usually retail for around $49, but they've been on sale the last few weeks for $38. Next, we have the Cinema Lightbox. I thought this was a cool little pickup for people who could maybe put this in the background of your YouTube videos or your live streams, or just to remind yourself some inspirational quotes. Ah, yes, much inspire. It can fit 24 letters on the board itself, with a hundred numbers and letters included for you total, and there's even a spot on the back for storage. You could power this with either batteries or the included USB cable to light it up. Now with something like this marquee box, it's obviously you know pretty self-explanatory, uh, but I thought it'd be a cool little pickup for the holidays to write little messages to your loved one around the house, make it festive, make it straight facts like pee is stored in the balls. You guys got the idea by now. No need to ramble on anymore about it. This comes in at $29.99. Next up, we have a $50 microphone that I honestly didn't have the highest expectations for. And then I got it in, tried it, heard it, and it really surprised me how good it sounds. This is the Razer Siren Mini. As you can hear, definitely good enough for doing voiceovers or stuff for live streaming. Uh, just did not expect it to sound this good. And obviously, I'll cut the background music so you could hear how it sounds. And I'll use this for the rest of the product segments so you can get a good feel for the mic test. But man, for 50 bucks, this just highly exceeded my expectations. So inside they have a 14 millimeter capsule that has a super cardioid pickup pattern, which is really gonna be good for focusing on picking up your vocals right in front of you. It comes with the included stand and base. It can swivel around if you want to sort of angle it in a certain direction to where you're gonna be sitting in front of it. And it's just super tiny and simple looking with just the LED light on the front so you can know that it's on. But there is no volume adjustment or headphone pass through. It's just a tiny mic here with a 5 8 inch thread so you can put this on a mic stand or a mic boom arm you might already have. And real quick, just for like a general, you know, typing test and stuff in the background, um, I have a keyboard with cherry red switches behind this. So with that super cardioid pickup pattern, you may be able to hear that in the back as I'm just typing random stuff. Uh, but again, with that pickup pattern, it should do a pretty good job of eliminating that and mainly focusing on my voice. Now, again, I did not think this was going to sound this good. I've tried... Okay, I've tried other Razer mics in the past and they just never really blew me away until we got this in. And just for $50, uh, really, really impressed me. Live streaming, you know, voiceovers for gaming and stuff, talking to your friends, this is a killer option. Next, we have a pretty interesting one. And I know you're all familiar with pudding keycaps, right? Well, meet the crystal keycaps from G-Skill. These are the same idea, but instead of having the translucent side to the caps, here, they're completely transparent, so you can see it makes the RGB shine through really intense since there's nothing there to really filter it and just make your keyboard look crazy. As you see, it comes in a black crystal set as well as white. Are you kidding me? Don't do what I just did. Look at this. I busted it. I busted it. So with their sets, it comes with 104 keys for the standard ANSI layout. Plus, you get a keycap puller as well. 
And for those of you who aren't too familiar with keyboards, yes, these do fit the standard MX style stem, so odds are this will fit just fine on your keyboard. There are minor visual differences to the black and white crystal key set. Uh, for example, on the black, you're also gonna get that additional sort of outline around the characters and stuff, or just more so around the keycap up front. So you have that additional layer of RGB kind of shining through around the keycap in addition to obviously the bottom. So either way, like regardless of what keyboard you put this on, as long as it has RGB effects, it's gonna look crazy. Just for a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see how it looks versus the pudding keycaps, like I said, Pretty much identical, only difference now is that they are transparent instead of it being translucent. So you can see right through it. Even if you just want to keep it like a static color and stuff, the RGB shine through is going to be really, really bright. Now that does mean you're also going to be able to see part of the stem and the actual switch on the sides. But honestly, if you're buying these for the RGB, you're probably not going to care that some of the switch is also uh, visible. So still wanted to point it out. These G-Skill Crystal keycaps come in at just 20 bucks, which is definitely pretty good. Also like directly on par in, in competition with the pudding keycap. So same price, but now more RGB. Next up is something I know a lot of you are gonna be after. And that's this RGB PC panel. For just $50, this gives you a ton of extra functionality to your PC, and it's all completely programmable, and it's really useful. So first up with these four sort of RGB knobs, each one can obviously be turned either left or right, but each one can also get pushed in for an extra function. Obviously, you can set these to be like volume control, playback control, skipping tracks in Spotify. You can even tie it directly to OBS to change your sound settings in there on the fly, which is really, really cool. The software for it is really, really well done. And inside, you can go in and change what each direction of the dial does. Like I said, also when you press it in. So if you want to use these for like color correction and stuff during video editing, you can. What I also like inside the software is it shows you real time the direction of the knob as you turn it, which little detail, but I like it. The RGB on the dials can also be controlled if you want it to be just a static color or change up the rainbow effects and change like the speed and the variation of the RGB. But I know you RGB lovers gotta keep it flashy. But for the price, I'm just really impressed with the functionality and all the customizing you can do to it. Like I said, with the four knobs, make them be playback and media controls. You can have each dial designated to a certain audio input or even output launch programs or commands, make macros. And not only is it tiny and compact, so you can keep it on your desktop with no problems, but you can also mount it underneath your desk. It does come with these two mounting pads if you want. So there you can still have it at an arm's reach, but tucked away underneath the desk, keeping those knobs at a finger's length. There's a joke in there somewhere. Like I said, for 50 bucks, this PC panel is just an absolute steal. I know a lot of you could probably take advantage of something like this. All right, guys, so that'll wrap it up for Cool Tech under $50 for December. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget, if you saw anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. And also yesterday, we did a Cool Tech under 25. So check that out if you missed that as well. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Tons of holiday content still to come. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.